Hey folks, welcome to Rusty and Nelly's Jungle. Fogger update. Should we use this? Shouldn't we use this? I did prepare a great video where I was, you know, photographing. Okay, I sprayed it this time and we've got, you know, out of four, we've got three mealies alive, one dead. And oh, now we, I sprayed it again. We've got two mealies alive, two dead. And I did this whole video and then I thought, it doesn't even make sense because it's not something we're gonna use now because it, was, it only kills half of the mealies. If you spray this solution directly on the plant, which it says you can do, yes, it does kill, um, it does kill the mealies, but we don't know about the long-term effects. We've never used this. And we do have a great way of getting rid of a mealy infestation and, and it works 100%. And I'm gonna do a video of that soon. So instead of, presenting you that video, um, showing you what this did. It, it killed about 50% of the mealies in the room and I probably overused it. To, like, you know, where Mythbusters, they, they eh, it didn't quite work. Okay, let's add 10 times the amount of dynamite and have the massive explosion. So I, I'm, I'm not gonna recommend this for an indoor use to kill mealy bugs because it didn't kill them all. It killed about 50%. 50% isn't good enough in the mealies. We need 100% because if there's any mealies alive, they're gonna multiply and in you know five, six weeks, you're gonna have a tremendous amount of mealies. So please subscribe and like because I am gonna do a video of to show you the easy, simple, no Q-tips and all that crazy stuff, how to kill mealies on a plant that's infested. It does no damage to the plant. We've done all these methods. We've done the diatomaceous earth method. We've done the Nemo. We've done, we've done all these methods. This one is the quickest and easiest because we have so many succulents. We have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. So we can't spend all day, you know, we have lives, we've got jobs, uh, swabbing leaves with Q-tips. So we, we, we need something fast and quick. I tried this out for you guys. Kills 50%, I'm not gonna recommend it because 50, I need 100% or I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna recommend it. So this, I'm gonna have to say, yeah, if you spray it on the plant, it does work. Um, I'm not sure of, we haven't uh, uh, had it long enough to see what effects it's gonna have on that plant. So I'm actually not gonna recommend this product for the mealy killing. I bet you if there was an aphid or a thrip or a spider mite in that room, um, they're tropical plants, so they don't usually get th those uh, aphids, thrips, spider mites, uh, fungus, gnats, all that stuff. Um, the succulents seem to get either a scaly uh, fungus on top of your plant or they get mealybugs. So that's what we we're trying. But if there was, I bet you this, the room, because it was, it was like a gray fog in the room, I bet you anything living in there is now dead as far as flying in the air, little tiny micro microscopic stuff. As far as the mealies, 50%, not good enough. So like, subscribe, and I'm gonna do a video on what we use for the mealy bugs. And secondly, I'm gonna do a video on what we use for that, you know, the scaly solution that builds up on a, on a um, succulent. I'm, we've got a method for that that it's true, it's tested, it works. This, uh, we're not going to recommend for don't fog your rooms. You heard it here. And like, subscribe, because those two videos, they're going to be good videos. It, lots of information there of how to easily get rid of your mealy bugs without the time and effort. You know, each plant is going to take you maybe 20 seconds. It's going to be done. So anyway, like, subscribe, and we're going to see you next time. Happy New Year.